Brando, I finna slam dunk. Get big on you fake pumps. That bump in the fake pump. Bitch, fell for the pump fake. Got him talking like first take. Get it right on the first take. Hit the hole in the first. Take. I'm cooling with Ricky, but this she gon' give me. I promise it's sex in the city. I'm counting these commas. And Show the people what she drinking, man. Stop oh, yeah. playing. And no free marketing. <laughs> <know what's> <laughs> <saying>. <laughs> Whoever owns this drink, you can slide on my DM. You know what I'm saying? Just give me a number. <laughs> That shit called cinnamon ball. See, you don't fuck it up now. <laughs> that shit ain't called cinnamon ball. That shit called. <laughs> I don't know what that shit called. Bro, hey. that shit be hitting. Well, you know that shit be hitting. No, it don't. Come on, bro. That bitch is a hundred proof though. There you go. See, I was just beating on my goddamn chest. <laughs> shit put some hair in your chest, bro. That's a real man drink, for real. You can't drink this unless you're a real nigga. What about the stocking cap? What's up with that? Real niggas wear stocking caps. For real? Yeah, that shit give you waves and shit. <laughs> but you ain't got no waves. They come. <laughs> them bitches bacon. They That's what you look like. That nigga from Atlanta, the bitches bacon. <laughs> bro, them bitches bacon up there, bro. Damn, bro. Bro, you got too much hair on your head to get waves, though. Shit. That's how you get the waves. <laughs> and, bro. When you gonna stop wearing the shades, bro? Never. Bro, why you gotta wear the shades? Why you can't just pod? Bro, do they tell? Do they ask Superman why he wears cape? <laughs> do they? You not Batman, Superman. Do they ask Batman why you got your belt on? <laughs> Come on, man, stop playing. We with need me. to ask Batman why he wear his drawers over his leggings. <laughs> <laughs> bro, them niggas be wearing drawers over their leggings, bro. Yeah, this shit well. Yeah, you know them niggas wild for wearing leggings anyway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> niggas grown ass, swole ass niggas. Oh uh, shit! And, lifting trains and putting leggings on. Yeah, how they even take them bitches off? Anyway, man, I'm acting like we ain't got shit to talk about, bro. We got some topics today, man. Another episode of Sit Down with Slim. Back again with the uh blue shit, man. You know what I'm saying? What episode is this? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't recorded so many podcast episodes. This shit just got them you know, keep going, bro. This is episode 113. Okay. 113 official episodes, not even including all those interviews I done did. I, about to say, I, I think you did more than 113. Yeah, shit. I know I done did over like I, 200. I ain't gonna lie, when you started doing that shit, bro, I said, I know goddamn Slim is off like a motherfucker with his numbers. I just never said shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's crazy. But we here, though. We here. Um... I ain't gonna lie, bro. I got drunk as hell this weekend. I really got them showed my ass. I embarrassed myself for I real. I seen the clips. I seen the clips. And I see you slumped over on your bed. <laughs> <laughs> I said, this nigga right here. Bro, bro, you know how that happened, right? You kept bothering me about hooking the equipment up so you can do that <laughs> bap ass interview with Damo. <laughs> that shit was super bap. I kept falling asleep. I ain't know what the fuck was going on. Yeah. And goddamn, next thing I know, bro, I got them. I was trying to hook the mixer up, but I didn't have the cords hooked up. Yeah. Then finally I left. I was stumbling. I went in the room. I put my phone on the charger. Yeah. And I went to go get in the bed, and I fell asleep in midair. Yeah, I see this shit. I see this and I just shit. slumped. Just was slumped, bro. I don't even know what happened. All I know is I woke up in the morning time, goddamn, like, ain't shit happen. Just in the bed, sleep. Yo ass recorded me and shit Like I wasn't Losing my life yeah, shit. Hey I ain't gonna lie bro It sounded like you was fucked up Like, <laughs> like straight up Like hey, hey I, I probably should wake this nigga up Make sure he's straight bro Like Sound like something wrong with you All my allergies was going stupid I kept yeah. sneezing Yeah That's yeah. what I was doing yeah, I was sneezing at the same time Yeah You know what I mean Yeah I woke up in the morning time Nigga my whole Everything was fucked up My body still sore bro I'm not drinking no more dog no more for me. <laughs> Big fat. But I ain't a quitter though. So I'm back, nigga. Anyway, man, um bro. The JPP boys, they done got down split up. Yeah. Who the JPP boys? JBP, Joe Budden Podcast. No, they split up for good. Not probably not for good, but they on a the hiatus. Marlon got down Rory. So this is what happened. Let me tell you what happened. Yeah, yeah. Joe Button explained what happened. You know, he used a lot of words, kind of brushing it over, whatever. Yeah. But basically, long story short, what happened was him and Rory got into it. 
Yeah. He had a conversation with Roy basically saying something's going on with you. You should let me know how's everything at home, blah, blah. And Roy told that nigga like, bruh, I come and do my job. You don't fucking need to worry about the fuck goes on in my personal life. Oh, time out, time out. So Joe Budden reached out to Roy and was like, ain't shit right, something going on. Yeah. And Roy was basically like, kiss my ass, bro. This ain't got shit to do with you. Fact though. Okay. Let me fix your mic real quick. My bad, man. Just, I just want to make sure the sound is right. You feel me? All right. Because you know we hear the pod, my nigga. Yeah. So, um, so but that's basically what happened. So then, I guess, Maul calls Joe Button, and he's like, bro, who the fuck says you get... Oh, nah. Joe Button told Rory, hey, how about you just take a couple weeks off then? And Rory said, bet. So Maul calls him and goes, nigga, who the fuck says you get to fire people? And tell people that they're, you know, suspended. And Joe Button was like, nigga, this is my fucking podcast. And Maul was like, oh, well, I don't want to be a part of this shit if it's going to be like that then. If that's the type of time we on. And Joe Button was like, yeah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and that shit instantly started making me think about what you said. Like, bro, you and Joe Button that could like, bro. Because <laughs> that's some shit I'll probably just say. Ain't it? <laughs> hey, you do sound like you for real. Bro. I instantly started thinking about that. Then I started thinking about the last podcast I had with Rello. And when we had our disagreements, I kind of was just on some shit like, bro, I'm just going to start my own podcast. Yeah. That's literally how that shit ended. I was like, bro, I'm going to start my own podcast. Yeah. Then got down. Um, I was like, man, I wonder if I'd be like that with Blue. Because I remember uh, when Dama was snapping on me because I told you, I was like, yeah, Blue, I'm going to start this podcast for you, but we're going to put it on my channel or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to own 100% of it. And you were like, shit, I don't give a fuck, cool. And yeah. Damo was like, nigga, that shit don't even make sense. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, dude, I'm about to do everything. Yeah. I'm about to record it, I'm about to market it, I'm about to do everything. So, y'all the talent, it's my fucking show. And Damo was like, see, oh, hell no. Yeah. What he said, he said, nigga, we get 60%, you get 40 I said, Damo, are you just don't fucking come. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? That sounds better to me. Yeah. You just don't fucking come. Yeah. We don't need you, nigga. It's the blue show, not the Damo show. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> but that's what that shit reminded me of. Anyway, let's get back but, to the but topic. But now Damo was right and wrong. Why like, he said that? I, I, I agree with him about uh, about you. De- we definitely should get a cut because yeah. we part of the show. But yeah. you know the sixty forty. That's why I disagree with. You know what I mean? Because I'm doing everything right. Yeah, yeah you are doing all the work. Yeah. So, um, I'm just an idiot. But back to the Joe Budden podcast, though. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, bro, they episodes been trash too without no! Roy and Maul. Bro, them shits been trash, dog. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, bro. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, bro. They gonna have to get these niggas back ASAP. Or I'm gonna stop listening, bro. Dang, but, is that bad, bro? It's bad, bro. They got this nigga on there named Ice. I mean, he all right. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn. But he kind of dry. Ain't really much humor. Then Savon, this nigga named Savon, that's like his little running man for the show. He had put him on there because Savon's a podcaster. And that nigga Savon be saying the stupidest shit I ever heard in my life. Like what? Just dumb shit, bro. Just like the dumbest shit you can think of. I forgot what he said that was real dumb and everybody was on his ass about it. It was something, was it something about Drake? I don't remember, bro. It was something stupid, though, bro. And goddamn, I was like, bro, he need these boys, bro. You're going to have to pay them double. He's going on scrag on his ass. He's yeah, not, he about to start losing yeah. his money. <laughs> yeah, see, I feel, I feel bad. I feel bad. Got them for the, uh for Joe Budden though. Like, damn, we do whoop. But then this nigga DJ Academics. I hate DJ Academics. Right? Everybody hate him, but I ain't gonna lie. From I don't listen to him a lot, but when I listen to him, I don't disagree a lot. You know what I mean? Fact though. Yeah. But so let me tell you what happened with DJ Academics. I kid you not, bro. Yeah. I see this video. It goes, DJ Academics goes in on Rory and Maul. He hates them niggas. Like, they've been beefing for the longest. Goddamn, Maul always calls that nigga bitch-ass nigga. Yeah. Like, it, it, every time that nigga name come up, Maul be like, I don't fuck with that clown-ass nigga. Yeah. So, he, you know, Academics was <sighs> taking advantage of the moment. It was his time. It was his time. <laughs> <laughs> taking advantage of the moment. I never listened to that nigga, but something, I just, I ain't had nothing to watch. Yeah. So, I clicked it. And instantly, I was like, "Bro, this nigga spitting." Yeah. That nigga said. What I tell you, bro? That nigga said. That nigga said, "Bro, who the fuck 
fuck these grocery bagging ass niggas <laughs> take they in trying to go on strike. He said these niggas acting like they bagging groceries. He said they acting like the niggas that be in front of the grocery store talking about don't shop with them, they don't be paying us. He like yeah. the fuck you grocery bagging ass niggas think y'all is yeah. trying to go on strike. He said niggas the fucking Joe Button podcast, nigga. <laughs> yeah. The fuck y'all think y'all is fucking Rory and Mall. Like what yeah. the fuck? And I was like, damn, this nigga spin, nigga. Yeah. Like, cause he right, bro. Like, who the fuck do them niggas think they is going on strike? You don't bring your head ass to work. Uh-huh. Then these niggas got them you know, talking about some. We don't even like podcasting. Like, we just do that shit because it's some family shit. Like, we don't really fuck with podcasting, bro. That got to be your main source of income. And if it is, I know you fuck with that shit. Hey, yeah. Hey. Well, you can take your ass back to bagging groceries. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For the record, I don't think none, neither one of them niggas ever bag groceries. That shit just funny as hell, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Because yeah. Rory worked for, like, Sony or something. And Maul, that's uh, Big's little brother. Big, that be with Jay-Z. Oh, oh, dang. So, uh, Maul got that check then. Probably so. <laughs> I told you when I, uh, when I remember you first told me about it, I said, well, ain't it the Joe Budden show? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I was like, did he get paid vacation? Because I'm be real with you, bro. Like, if I'm on a Joe Budden podcast and Joe Budden tell me not to go there, I mean, I might disagree with him talking to me like that, but if I'm still getting paid, nigga, I'm just going to look at it like a vacation. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It is, it is a vacation. Yeah, okay. I don't have to do a couple episodes and I'm still going to get paid and... I'm about to go to Miami, I'm about to go to Miami. And, and, and get my dicks up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, sure. fat though. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, I don't know, man. They, they, I mean, they just, one plus two equals three. But, bro, let me go back to DJ Academics. Yeah. All right. So, after that, I said, man, this nigga act spitting. I might start fucking with this nigga, bro. Like, he's spitting. Next day, he puts out a video about NBA Youngboy. Yeah. And he started fucking going in saying some of the most bitch ass shit I ever heard in my life. And what I said, oh, back to what the drawing board. I don't even said? remember, bro. It was some dumb shit. But you don't remember? Yeah, he was calling the nigga stupid and all kind of shit for the nigga gun charge. And he kept calling him some weird ass name. I mean, that nigga is stupid if he called a gun charge. Why? Because he a millionaire. Why is a millionaire catching gun charges? I ain't gonna lie. Certain things, when you, when you get a certain amount of money, you just shouldn't get locked up for it. You know what I'm saying? A gun charge is one of them. You feel me? Like... But you still got to protect it. But he's still a street nigga. You right. He a street nigga. But guess what? Ain't he surrounded by street niggas? So uh, he should have armed security on him at all times? Is he not surrounded with street niggas? Then there you go. They supposed to have a gun. Bro, speaking of that, the other day, I was I, <laughs> I was watching a video of Boosie pay somebody like $500 to let him smack him on camera for a music yeah, video. Yeah, that nigga head ass. Yeah. <laughs> and I <laughs> see the baby was there. And yeah. I said, see, this is why convicted felons are not supposed to be with each other. Because of this right here. These niggas paying niggas $500 to get smacked on camera. This is why they don't let convicted felons hang out together. Because yeah. they do shit like this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't think the baby a convicted felon, though. Okay. I don't think he is, but yeah. I just thought about that because I'm like, bro, that shit crazy. Would you let Boosie pay you 500 to slap you on camera? Fuck no, nigga. I'm going to be real with you, bro. You should do it. No. Because... Not for the five hundred dollars for the exposure. Oh yeah, nigga, you gonna be you gonna be up, <laughs> bro. I'm not letting no grown ass man slap me in the face like Boosie slapped that nigga. I ain't he, sm- he slapped the <laughs> shit out that nigga, bro. I'm talking yeah. about smack the shit out of him. I said, bro, I'm not letting no grown ass man smack me like that, bro. That's crazy as fuck. I would have whooped Boosie ass. Like he oh, slapped the hell out of that nigga. You been good. Well, nah, one of his partners would have murked me. Oh, you got smoke, huh? There you for go. Sure. Hey, guess what? You you got a smoke. And everybody would have defended your ass getting smoked because that's the culture we live in. What, what culture is that? That it's okay to kill niggas. Mm. If you a nigga. I don't know, Blue. If you not a nigga, it's not okay to kill niggas. But if you a nigga. Bro, this is the second episode in a row you trying to talk about black on black crime. Hey, man. A nigga got shot in front of the Waffle House last week. Rest in peace to him. You God. said that last week. <laughs> Hey, that shit. Well, obviously, it's, it's important to me. Why? Obviously, bro. First of all, you got to realize, bro, somebody killed my daddy, bro. You know what okay. I'm saying? So, I look at that shit a lot different than most people look at it. You feel me? Bro, time out. I want you to look in the camera and look how you dress, bro. <laughs> you got a sock and cap on with a black and bow, bro. <laughs> that shit hard. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, keep going. My bad. I, yeah, I ain't mean man. to fuck up your fine shui. Yeah, man. But, uh, yeah, bro. So, and, and then, bro, like, I, 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 I grew up in high school people who, you know, who got killed, killed people. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It was somebody that I played football in high school who, who doing time for murder. You feel me? One of my teammates in high school shot my other teammate. You feel me? Why they shoot him? We not finna get in that. They it was they basically basically apparently they was, they was a finna fight over some money that he owed him. He didn't want to pay him the money, so dude tried to fight him and he shot him. You know what I'm saying? I love when you ask somebody something and they say we're not finna get into it, then they get into it. <laughs> I love that shit. <laughs> nigga, nigga said we not finna get into it, but yeah. the nigga owed the nigga some money. And the nigga shot the nigga because he owed him some money. Yeah, yeah. Boy, you head ass blue. But yeah, man, all I'm saying is what like I, I just I just hated that we have created a culture where it's okay to kill each other. It, we got to the point now where black people fight to a death. Like black people are on some modern day gladiator type of shit. Like if two black people get into it, one of them finna die. You feel me? And that shit is savage. You feel me? That's savagery. That's that's uncivil as a motherfucker. Niggas went out here and marched for civil rights and became uncivil as a motherfucker. <laughs> that's a bar, blue. You feel me? <laughs> but only towards each other. They civil towards everybody else. But when it come to each other, they fighting to the death. They we have a disagreement. One of us finna one of us not finna go home today. You feel me? Because we disagreeing about some shit. So one of us not gonna see our family no more, and that's what it's that's what it's gotten down to. People can't just just Blue. fight, walk away, talk, walk away. Niggas literally have to fight to the death. You feel me? And that shit is that shit is that shit is animalistic as a motherfucker. And you only do it towards yourself, so it's coon as a motherfucker. On top of that, so what you want niggas to run out here and kill white people? I want niggas to stop killing each other. You feel me? You believe in that black on black crime shit, don't you? Don't get me wrong. I know where you're getting at. Black people kill black people because they're neighbors. But, bro, I'm be real with you. I don't care what nobody say. A nigga get into it with a white boy, he not going to kill him. But he get into it with another nigga, that nigga might just die. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what nobody <laughs> Why say. Why you believe that? That's true. Because, bro... That shit is true. I don't give a fuck. Nobody say you cannot change my mind on that shit. How, bro? Bro. White people and black people get in fights too, bro. Niggas just don't fight niggas. They fight white people too. But only when niggas fight other niggas, they fight to the death. You feel me? Like, you might as well get these niggas some swords. And put them in a the goddamn ring. You feel me? Give them some swords. You want to see niggas sword fight? They might as well. They might as well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, that's head ass as fuck. It bro. is head ass as fuck. These niggas is head ass as fuck. Bro, I told you, bro. Like, but, like, but, but, bro, you grew up fighting too. You right. I grew up fighting. Not to the death. You feel me? Bro, like, like for example. You could have beat somebody to death, but keep going. Bro. Remember you had me uh, take a picture of them, them rapping niggas at <laughs> yeah. Empire? Yeah. After the club, one of them rapping niggas stole off on a nigga. <laughs> and I'm over here calling, the nigga ran too. Yeah. And I'm over here calling nigga a bitch for running. And I turn around, all them niggas that I was taking pictures of, all them niggas got guns. You feel me? That's what we don't got to. That's why he ran like a bitch. Because he could have got his ass smoked. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like now we just got to be bitches or die. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You either gotta be a bitch, or you gotta fight to the death. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I just don't like that culture. You feel me? Well, you just gotta stay dangerous out here. Nah, bro. But think about all these police that that kill people and, and they and they get off of murder. Ain't nobody smoking them. Them niggas can go on Walmart, Kroger, get groceries, go to Chuck E. Cheese, spend time with their kids. Yeah. But let two niggas get into a disagreement at the basketball court. What's buddy name that killed Trayvon Martin? George Zimmerman. George Zimmerman. That nigga running around here selling guns for a hundred thousand dollars. Come on, bro. Killed, goddamn, Autograph and shit. Come on, Autograph man. Autograph and shit. But they not finna smoke him. Come Six on, nine bro. still running around this bitch free as a bird. Come on, man. Six nine different. Though. He got hella money. That nigga. That nigga can do that shit. I mean, I ain't saying it's okay, but. That nigga dumb rich, he can do that shit. So you don't think they should uh smoke six nine? Hey man, I don't condone violence. Okay. But what I'm saying is, 
You know what I'm saying. I've been saying this shit. Niggas need to start killing each other. Yes. And like, it got to the point now where niggas really justify if you're getting to a fight and you're losing, then it's okay to kill that nigga because he's physically stronger than you. Mm. You feel me? It's okay to kill that nigga because he winning. You feel me? Instead of just taking the ass whooping and moving on. Taking the ass whooping moving on. Don't get me wrong. It might hurt. You know what I'm saying? It might hurt your spirit, your confidence, but guess what? You get to go home. You get to goddamn, you get to goddamn go chill up with your girl. As long as your girl went around, you still got your girl. That girl. <laughs> she <laughs> was around. <laughs> you know I mean? If she was around, that bitch gone, ain't it's it? It's over with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that but, bitch gone, baby. But as long as, she ain't, as long as it ain't go viral, you feel me? Even if it go viral, it go, because if it go online, it's going viral. You feel me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so if somebody record it. You just got to goddamn, you just going to. Ain't it crazy how a stupid ass fight video can get a hundred thousand views in like five minutes? Ain't no can. That shit will. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's going to. It's a well, I think it's like watching fights so much, bro. I don't know, bro. That shit, it, but it, niggas always like watching fights. Even in, you know, in school, nigga get into a fight. Everybody watching Everybody this watching, shit. Everybody watching, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I remember one time in high school, bro, these two white boys fighting. This fight was so bad. That everybody was just walking back and forth in the hallway, bro. <laughs> ain't nobody even stopped to look, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Who broke it up? Nobody. It just stopped. Eventually, got up with the glass, bro. That shit was so bad. <laughs> they was windmilling and shit. Uh, they were, bro, bro. I don't know what you call that shit. I was like, are they fighting for real? You know what I'm saying? And then one of them turned red. So they serious. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm just, I'm looking at everybody like, y'all see this shit? Everybody just walking back and forth, minding their business. Like, that shit was so bad. Oh, that shit funny as hell. Yeah, yeah. That shit funny as hell, dog. Yeah, man. You seen? Uh, we gotta switch gears a little bit because you got way too passionate about that, blue. Yeah, I'm passionate about people's lives, man. That's good, bro. You feel me? That's why they. That's why y'all niggas need to vote for me. Blue, got them Blue Luther King. No, John Blue. Blue X. <laughs> blue X. Okay. We, 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 might, we might be wrong. Blue that's X. the name of the episode. Blue, blue X. X. Might be wrong. Blue, blue X. X, nigga, bro. Uh, did you see Lil Nas X in the video? Yeah. What did you think about it? I ain't see it. What did you think about it? That nigga got that super shit. Bro, what happened? This I'm about to watch the video, bro. Go watch the video. Just watch the video. Keep talking, though. I want you to watch the video first. All right. Bro, this nigga was twerking on Satan. <laughs> I said, what the fuck? <laughs> For real? This nigga, What? I said, oh, hell no. This nigga. Oh, this shit right here? It might be it. This shit got 37 million views, bro. Yeah, I know. And you know, you got to realize, bro, that's why niggas do head ass shit. Because they know that shit. Like, you watching it right now? I got to see this head ass shit he was doing. You feel me? That's why niggas do that shit, bro. Oh, this shit look creepy already. Yeah. That shit never gave that nigga money. That shit never gave this nigga money. All right. Nah, hold on, let me pause real quick. You know the crazy thing about this video? Mm-hmm. Bro, this nigga legit, this nigga legit spent millions of dollars making this video. I can tell already. The CGI in this video is fucking great. <sighs> All right, bro. <sighs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know where to start. First off, that shit is satanic as fuck. Facts. Facts. And you know, I don't really get into that goddamn heaven and hell, that God and devil shit, but, bro, like, why do that? Bro, and that's what I'm saying. This is what people don't realize, bro. This nigga is promoting evil. Like, that shit is cool. He making the devil and being and going to hell appealing to the masses. You feel me? Like, oh, it's cool to go to hell. It's cool to fuck with the devil. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, like that's, 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 that's the message he's portraying in that video. And then when you talk about the nigga's shoe... The nigga goddamn talking about putting blood in. You heard about that shit? Yeah, I heard about it. I didn't understand, though. Who the fuck called somebody and said, hey, put some blood in, in all the shoes that come out? The fuck? And people really, and it's crazy, bro. The fact that people really support him, obviously demonic shit, let you know that, oh, I see why we became slaves. Niggas is followers. <laughs> That's some head ass shit to say, though, bro. It is, but. Is the truth? 
Bro, we got proof. You know what I'm saying? Niggas follow everything, bro. Bro, why why he can't just be regular gay though? That's what I'm saying. Why he got to be over the top gay with it? That's what I'm saying. I know, dog. I know this gay guy main main did a podcast with him, yeah. and he basically told us he was like, you know, you know, if you gay, you just gay. But he was like, sometimes gay people just be going too far with it. Yeah, like you can just be regular gay. But you know what you got to realize, bro. I know I said we're gonna talk about bitches no more, but bitches, women, bitches, bitches, bitches extra <laughs> fuck too. You know what, <laughs> what they be doing, bro? Like, think about it, bro. Women get online and twerk naked all the time. They extra Fat as though. fuck. So I, why they why they can't just sit the fuck down? You know what I'm saying? They get online hat. Niggas don't do that shit. If bitch get online and show her. Oh, turn up their brunch. Show her ass and and get online and you know what I'm saying. Do all type of freaky shit. Get get damn near naked. Niggas don't do that shit. So it's kind of like that's why I feel like but it's, that, it's that type. They get that type of energy. We need you. that shit though. I know we need that shit, but we don't need niggas doing that shit. Oh, fact though. You feel me? Fact. And they head they women and that's what women do. You feel me? Uh huh. So that's why I get that shit from. Well, I'm gonna be honest. That video is some different type of shit, bro. Yeah, it's one of the videos you gotta watch one time to see what the fuck going on. Yeah, I don't ever want to see that shit again. <laughs> I didn't even understand what was going on. That nigga was having sex with himself, getting some head from himself. <laughs> then this nigga got then went went down a big ass pole straight yeah. to hell, twerking yeah. on the devil. Yeah, and broke the nigga neck and put the nigga horns on. Yeah, shit wild. Yeah, I'm at the pass on that one. I really didn't plan on watching that video on this podcast, but you started talking about it. I said, I got to see this bullshit. And that's why that shit got 37 million views yeah, in three you. days. Oh, I told you, bro. That shit going crazy because that but, shit wild as fuck. Speaking of the gay shit, you know I got to ask you, bro. If a, if a straight man goes to a trans strip club, is he gay? As much as I try to defend people <laughs> and, be, and be and be you know what I'm saying, supportive as I can be, caught about twenty niggas. <laughs> so you asking me for this? Yeah. What they say? We, every single one of them said, "Hell yeah, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> gay as hell." <laughs> but but you know what I'm saying? I'm like, but what I want to add to it is. We live in a time where people try to be so open minded. I feel like you, you you got a type of person that just tries to be open minded as weird as it can be weird. Everybody and, wants to be a strong liberal. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's cool to be not everybody, but these liberals, you got these you know how you got the Muslims that scrap they they scrap their silver and blow their silver, they just like super Muslims. Yeah. And then you got the niggas who 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 who, who go to prison and now they're a Muslim. They ain't finna do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, same thing with the liberals, bro. Like, you got niggas who just like, they feel like because they liberal, they just like gotta be extra as fuck about the shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they just like super liberals and, and they try to be so pro and so supportive of everything, no matter how unethical, disgusting, or nasty it may be. You know what I'm saying? Like what? Like going to a transcript club. How's that unethical? Bro, see, I'm not finna get in that. <laughs> you not fucking with me today? I'm not finna get in that. Why, wow, bro? I'm not finna get in that. Bro, let me know. I want to know, bro. Hey, bro. Like I said, man. Uh, the, the answer is just yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, like, yeah. I do want you to be kind of open minded with this topic. Yeah. Like, what? Like, what you think he was in the strip club doing? If hopefully, a guy if a guy goes to a trans strip club, hopefully what do you he think wasn't he's throwing doing? ones on a nigga. <laughs> nigga making it rain, nigga making it rain, bro. But nah, bro. Like I said, man. Like uh, some people, they just they just be trying to be supportive and and they super liberals and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? And they get lost in the sauce, bro. He was in there making it rain, goddamn. You don't know that. <laughs> you hope he wasn't. You don't know that. What if he was? Hey, what's the next subject, man? <laughs> well, no, we stayed on this subject. <laughs> Why are you scared now? We stayed on this subject, boo. Hey, man. Let's go to the next topic.
We stand on this subject. Oh, this is man. this is your topic right here, bro. This ain't my topic. I ain't bring this topic, topic up. I ain't bring this topic up. <laughs> bro, you got to spit, bro. Why you want to leave the topic, man? Bro, so you don't think a man could just go with his gay family member and just and just support the gay life? Like he has to be gay? Like First of all, um, this and that's what I'm saying, and I feel like people feel that way, and that's and, and sometimes you can try to be too supportive and and, and and just do shit that don't make sense because you just want to be supportive <laughs> of your family member, just yeah. do weird shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But this is what I'm gonna ask you, bro. You know he gonna hear this, right? But go ahead, you can ask me. You got a family that smoke crack? Are you gonna go to the crack house with him? <laughs> No. Okay. <laughs> but now, nah, bro, like, all, all jokes aside, man, people just be trying to goddamn support people and, and, and try to be, you know what I'm saying? Just try to be positive. Like, some people just got, like, a shit ton of positive energy and they just want to give it to <laughs> What's everybody. wrong with that? Ain't nothing wrong with it. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. No, nah, I'm, bro, change the subject. Who <laughs> <laughs> said we got to get off this subject? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> nigga, you acting like a nigga can't just be positive, bro. Like, what's well, wrong well, with how that? How about you? Tell me what you think. What you think? Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm asking you all the questions because I don't want to tell my opinion. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, you want me to now? Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Like all jokes aside, all jokes aside for real. Yeah. I don't, I don't think he gay for going, bro. Yeah. I just think the act is gay. Yeah. Like I got a homeboy. That love just being around gay people and acting like them, yeah. but he not really gay, bro. Yeah. But he do gay shit. Yeah. So it's the act is gay, but yeah. the person might not be gay because yeah. in, in in their eyes, literally, like like they just being supportive, yeah. and, and trying to be cool with you. Yeah, yeah. The friend I'm talking about, he just like to fit in no matter where he go. Yeah, yeah. So he just play gay when he with gay people. He play, <laughs> act like a bitch when he around bitches. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He act like a street nigga when he around street niggas. Yeah, he's a chameleon. <laughs> yeah, he just a chameleon there. Like, depending on who he's, who, dog, depending on who he's around, that's who he gonna act like. Like, yeah. he get around the girls that you was just talking about that be twerking online and shit like that. He might fucking twerk. <laughs> he, he, he might. No, no, he, he might, nigga. No, I don't know. He might. I see him do everything everybody else do. He yeah, might. Yeah. But yeah, so, bro, going to this trans strip club, bro, our drag show, whatever it was, um. He not gay. He, uh, you're right. He is being like over supportive, and he think that like him doing that act makes him open minded and like you know a little better than the rest of us. And it doesn't. Yeah, you you really just a, a follower. Yeah, it doesn't make you better than like the next person because yeah. you got them stepped out of your you know the norm. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna just say this, bro, and I'm just gonna leave this shit alone after I say this, dog. <sighs> Everybody think it's super cool to be weird and different nowadays. Yeah. And that shit is weird. It's like, bro, what's wrong with just being normal? Yeah. We all we all don't have to be weird, bro. Yeah. Somebody can be normal. Like, and I, I remember the switch happening because um like little Uzi Vert. You know he from Philly. Yeah. So like when he first came out, he was like a little normal little nigga. Normal little Philly nigga. I ain't know that. Yeah. Now he's a fucking weirdo. Yeah. And it's like all the niggas think like that shit is so cool. Like, Lil Uzi be being himself. That shit is so cool. Yeah. I used to tell Domo this shit all the time. Bruh, just that because. That nigga Lil Uzi weird as fuck, too. Bruh, he weird as hell. This nigga. He's... Go ahead. He got that from Sauce Walker. And Sauce Walker, extra weird. Sauce Walker got that shit, too? He did it first. Bruh, I used Go to ahead. tell Domo this all the time. Just because somebody's being their self, don't mean I have to accept them for themselves. Facts. Because do you, do you accept people for, uh, do you accept. Um, pedophiles Pedophiles For being themselves do No you, Do you accept rapists For being themselves No So you just have to Accept everything Yeah You feel me and No for some said, reason Everybody thinks You're just supposed to Accept people for who they are Like bruh This nigga Ted Bundy Was a murderer And he murdered women So I'm just supposed to Accept this nigga Because he likes killing people yeah. Killing women Innocent women I'm supposed yeah. to just Accept this nigga Yeah No bruh That shit's crazy bruh And people swear like Weird is just cool Weird is cool, but I'm not. I'm also not one of the people that like when I seen Lil Uzi goddamn dating JT. I was like, oh, she that fucking with this weird nigga. Nah, nigga, that couple looks right to me, cause she's fucking weird too. Bitch, me in jail and shit. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know who you talking about. Uh, City Girl, JT. Oh, shit, City Girl? Yeah. Okay, it's two of them. One name is JT, the other one name is like Miami something. That's all you got to say, City Girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I ain't going to lie, bro. I love watching City Girl's videos. I ain't never seen their videos before. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got to watch Bro, that. I ain't even know what they look like till, till I started uh, hearing about her dating Lil Uzi. Bro, I really don't pay women rappers no attention. I ain't going to lie, bro. That's how you know. Oh, 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 bitches care about his money. That bitch dating Lil Uzi, bro. Why? Because he got a bag. All right. So, you know I like to talk about shit that happened in media. Yeah. JT tweeted out. Hold on. Let me find it because I, I don't even want to fuck her this words nigga, up. This nigga Uzi, five foot one, <laughs> got a got a, 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 a diamond in the middle of his forehead, tattoos all over his face. And she giving him some pussy. Why? Because he, you know, come on, man. That's why. Yes. Yes. And by her giving him some pussy, she letting the world know, nigga. As long as you got a bag. First of all, if you listen to her song, that's what she's saying. Her song. She won't. You just know she's not capping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, like. Long as you a seven figure nigga, bro, you can get that, bro. Like, no cap. Like, yeah. Like, if you was a millionaire, you, know, you probably could hit that while she dating losing, bro. You think so? I ain't no think so. I know so. Man, I want to be able to find this tweet so bad, bro. I just went to her Twitter. She tweets so fucking much, though. Um, I don't know, bro. Blue, it kind of sound like you got them on like the fact that she uh, that a little Uzi got her too. Niggas, you know, niggas be hating on little Uzi a little bit now. Nah, I'm not hating on little Uzi. I'm just spitting facts, bro. What did I say that was a lie? Nah, you right. There you go. That's all I gotta say before niggas call me a hater and niggas start talking shit. You got Tim more to lie at. You feel me, bro? Yeah. When you point the lie out. Then you can say what you gotta say, but if you can't point a lie out, then you can't be saying that shit, bro. I don't be, I don't be hating, bro. That's one thing I'm gonna do. I don't hate. Uh, this nigga kissing this bitch got down. That's her. Yeah, that's her. Yeah. And that's him. Yeah, you know she got that shit. <laughs> Why you say that? Come on, bro. As long as you, hey, bro. One thing you gotta realize about women, bro. If a nigga got Like so she a millionaire right Uh huh So she not finna fuck With a nigga who like Making fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year You feel me Like I don't give You know what I'm saying Not the long way You feel me But mm -hmm. she gonna look for a nigga Who make Just as much money as her Or more money than her You feel me and that's how that's just how it works, bro. It's levels to this shit. You know what I'm saying? All right, I can't find the tweet, but I'm gonna just tell t tell you what it said. She yeah. basically tweeted and said, "I'm in a snatch my wig off and scratch my braids, comfortable type relationship." And she tagged Lil Uzi in it. Okay, so she take her hat off around Lil Uzi. <laughs> she can take her hat off. <laughs> Lay your head down on my pillow. That shit crazy, bro. Like, bro, bro, you ever had that happen to you before? What? Oh, a, a girl take a head, head off? Yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I met this girl at the Waffle House, right? Mm hmm Went back to the crib. This is when I was still living in Campuside. Went back to the crib. Bro, I woke up the next day, bro. Like, she had she had her hat on. You know what I'm saying? Which is her weed. You hear me? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, nigga, keep calling that bitch a hat. I, 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 met, I, met, her, I met her. That's how I met her. And we, you know what I'm saying? With the Walmart or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Hanging out. Went home. Went to my crib. Bro, the next day, I woke up. I seen her, bro. Without her hat on. <laughs> it was like a whole different nigga. <laughs> a whole <laughs> different nigga. <laughs> but she had that mat down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like... It, it, Bro, you, you got more hair than shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, threw me off. Bald headed, scallywag. Threw me off. Bro, when I was in college, bro, I was fucking with this girl. This bitch gave the best top you ever had in your life, bro. It's my D best top. Bro, first off, went to her crib. Bitch had sex, sex toys and. Sex swings and all that weird shit in her room, yeah. but that's not that's not even the weirdest thing that was in her room, what? bro. She had an ass of mannequin heads with wigs on them. Oh yeah. And she, I, I walked in the door. That shit weird. That shit normal. All right. I walked in the door. Yeah. She closed the door behind me. She said, "Oh, lay down. I'm about to suck the hell out that dick." Oh yeah. And she took her fucking hat off. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Hey, <laughs> Blue, she took her hat off. She put on the mannequin head. She put the bonnet on, and that bitch went to work. Hey, when they put that bonnet on, <laughs> and you know what time it is when the bonnet the, come on. Nigga, the bonnet with the nightgown combo? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's over with. Bro, if you, you gonna have a good night, if you if you go to a bitch house and she got on the bonnet and the nightgown combo, it's over with. that pussy about to about to smack like macaroni, macaroni nigga. I'm to my stirred in a pot. That bitch about to slap like macaroni nigga, for real nigga. For some reason, that's they cape. You talking about Superman and Batman? That's they cape. The bonnet with the nightgown. They about to go in, for real. And they about to give you some good ass neck in the morning with that stink ass breath. <laughs> Tell me, ain't, ain't ain't nothing like goddamn get get your meat sucked in the morning with the morning breath. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's the best feeling in the world. Hey, nigga, spitting right now, man. We said we weren't talking about women no yeah, more. You gonna have a good day. You start off with the goddamn. You get some of that bonnet head. Ooh, you gonna have a good that day. That bonnet head. You have your good day. <laughs> the rest of your, hey, you walk out work in a good ass mood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas don't even know why. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How's the wife and kids? <laughs> hey, they buy that. Oh shit, I'm just having a good day myself too. Shit. Yeah. I'm about to send three cars in there. <laughs> hey. What don't got in the blue? <laughs> blue don't got some of that body head. <laughs> hey, y'all, I brought breakfast for everybody this morning. They <laughs> like, what? Blue breakfast? What the fuck going on? I'm getting lunch for everybody. <laughs> hey, lunch on me, everybody. Lunch on me. I got to go home for about another two hours, though. Nigga Blue trying to go back to the crib and get some goddamn pussy on lunch break and shit. Damn, bro. But yeah, man. Uh, one more topic we got to get into, bro. I'm just gonna ask you straight up: Is the Nets a super team? Of course. They were a super team before they added all them bitch ass niggas. <laughs> Fact though. That's hey, what I said too. Hey, hey. If you take Kyrie off the team, you take Black Griffin off the team, and you take whoever the center is, I can't even think of his name, you take him off the team. Andre, uh, DeAndre Jordan. Yeah, they still a super team. Just with Kevin Durant and James Harden. They still a super team. Black Griffin ass, though. I ain't going to say your ass, but it just, it just, bro. That I nigga watch. This is how you know politics run sports, bro, because I know why they signed Black Griffin. Jersey sales, nigga. Uh huh. The nigga averaging twelve points a game, but he he's solid. All right, let's read off their roster. They have Lamarcus Aldridge. They just signed him. Bruce Brown, Chris Chazza, Chaz- some shit. Nicholas Claxton, Spencer, um, Dinwiddie, Kevin Durant, Jeff Green, Blake Griffin, James Harden, Joe Harris, Kyrie Irving. Ali Johnson, Tyler Johnson. I did not know they had Tyler Johnson. They must have just traded for Tyler Johnson. DeAndre Jordan and a whole bunch of more bum ass niggas. Landry uh, Schmidt. He's pretty good though. Um, bro, Aldridge and Blake Griffin was both averaging twelve points a game before they signed them. Them niggas ain't shit. Yeah, them niggas washed. Washed as a motherfucker. I'm about to I'm about to show you exactly what this roster remind me of though. I'm going to read off this other team. You about to laugh your ass off. This is exactly what this roster remind me of, bro. Trust me, you're going to laugh your ass off, my nigga. Um, I think it was 04 to 05. My bad, I pulled up the wrong one. <sighs> you're going to laugh your ass off, bro. I kid you not. All right. This right here is... Hold up. Wrong roster. All right, here we go. This right here is a 2004 Los Angeles Lakers. Kobe Bryant, Maurice Carter, Brian Cook, Derek Fisher, Rick Fox, Donovan George, Horace Grant. Horace Grant. Horace Grant. My cousin. Oh, you know he was super watching when he was on this team, though. You know that, right? All right. Carl Malone. The mailman. Shaquille O'Neal. Gary Payton. Washed. Kareem Rush. Brian Russell. Lou Wallen. 
It's a washed ass team. <laughs> that was a washed ass team. They got their ass beaten like the conference finals. Damn, so who, Kobe took them niggas to the finals? The conference finals. That's crazy. Kobe didn't take them. Shaq, Shaq took them. Oh, okay. They had Shaq. You didn't say Shaq name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shaq was on there. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Shaq. <laughs> Kobe ain't take them. Shaq took them. You funny as hell, bro. R.P. to Kobe, but Kobe only got two rings. Facts. Those first three were Shaq rings. Yeah. The most dominant big man of all times. No. Yes. Will Chamberlain. Nigga, you ain't never seen Will Chamberlain play in your life. I haven't. But I don't know. You believe them stupid ass rumors? That he averaged 50 points a game? That's a lie. And dropped 100 in one game? Is that a lie? You believe that shit? Why don't you believe it? It's not on film. So? I got to see some shit. Oh, you're not woke. So you think they just wake up and lie about stats? No, but I do believe that that nigga probably was dunking on all them little small ass white boys. Bro, would Chamberlain want to dominate today? No, niggas is huge now. Niggas got them can shoot the three. He is can't. He, he's not a perimeter player. Now you know it's crazy you brought this up because I was telling my homeboy about this the other day. Like niggas saying because Wood Chamberlain was seven foot one and playing in a time where basketball wasn't as competitive, that's why he dominated. Which is true. That's part of the reason why he dominated. But he would still be the best player in the league today. I'm gonna tell you why. No, he wouldn't. Not only was Will Chamberlain seven foot one, the motherfucker was athletic as hell. With Chamberlain, you never seen him play. With Chamberlain is the best athlete of all time. But you never seen him play. I read about him though. This nigga was seven foot one. You know he woke, bro. You believe in shit that you read. Your third eye not open. They just don't lie about black people being great. <laughs> you feel me? This nigga was seven foot one. Not only was he seven foot one, the nigga won a state in the motherfucking high jump. You feel me? At seven foot one. Bunnies. Now, hold on, hold on. Before you get it. Not only did the nigga win state in the high jump, the nigga was a, was a, was a, was a track star. The nigga ran a 10-9 in a hundred. Blue. The nigga ran a 10-9 in a 100. Blew it. Listen. Just, just listen one The time. nigga went D1 in track and basketball. Bro, just listen one time. All right. I'm 6'1". Yeah. If you put a whole bunch of five foot six white boys on me, I'm dropping 42. You not listen to me. The nigga ran a 10-9 in the 100-yard dash. The nigga ran the 100-yard dash in Division One. So? <laughs> How many how many niggas in the NBA you think can run a 10 out of 100 yard dash? I don't care how tall he is. Probably none. This nigga did it at 7 foot 1. That's what you got to realize. whoop de do. I'm telling you, bro, what Chamberlain athleticism is on a whole other level than any other man. I had. can't believe you li- You literally talking to me about somebody you never seen play before. I read about him. You know, I'm not a reading ass nigga. <laughs> I read about this nigga. Anyway, man, the Nets. Super team, uh, but it's full of washed ass players, just like the 2004 Lakers. Um, they just picked up a whole bunch of wash niggas. Fucking, I ain't gonna lie, DeAndre uh, Jordan still can hoop though, but Blake Griffin I mean, he, washed. He still can play his role. Yeah, Blake Griffin washed. Yeah, Lamarcus Aldridge washed. Yeah, and them niggas injury prone is a motherfucker. Yeah, they probably get hurt in the playoffs. Somebody. Yeah, so they just picking up all the bums they can. And they was trying to get uh, Andre Drummond. But guess where he just signed to? At Lakers. He not watched, though. He's not watched at all. Yeah, he not watched, though. That's they would have picked that nigga up, they was scraped. That's who got a super team. Uh, They about to pick up J.J. Reddick. He's working out of buyout. Uh-uh. The uh, Nets. Okay, so that'd be a nice pickup. Yeah, yeah. He's about to work out a buyout with the But Pelicans. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, they really don't need J.J. Mm-hmm. Reddick. They don't. They already got Joe Harris. He he do the same thing J.J. Reddick do. Spot up shooter You know what I'm saying I got a spot up shooter You know what I'm saying So they really don't need him But fuck it we'll get They him. just trying to They just trying to stack the deck man All for a 36 year old LeBron That's about to no, 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 back No 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 They not stacking deck They just getting players But I ain't gonna lie bro they, Like one thing about basketball that Niggas gotta realize is It's just such Bro you can't just be adding A whole bunch of players To one team bro That shit gonna fuck up The chemistry Yeah Because niggas gonna be Wanting to play mm-hmm. JJ Reddick gonna want to play Guess what Joe Harris is that's his spot. You know what I'm saying? Joe Harris gonna want to play too, and he gonna feel like man, just read that old ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's how he gonna feel. Yeah, like I'm telling you, bro. Like 
when you put too many good players on one team, everybody got to play their role. And so you got to you gotta find a way to make that shit work because a lot of niggas ain't going to like their role. You feel me? Lakers and six. Bro, the Lakers not beating Kevin Durant and James Harden. Bro, first off, LeBron going to be well rested when he come back from this high ankle injury. He going to be well rested. Um, Anthony Davis gonna come back even stronger. I think they like third. Oh, and, they were hurt too. Yeah, he got hurt last month. I think I think they like third in the West right now. As long as them niggas can make the playoffs. Oh, back to back. How did me doing without LeBron? Bad. For real? Yeah. Real Damn. bad. Damn. Think the other day I was watching the game. I forgot who they was playing. They was getting out whooped by like twenty something. Damn, for real. I just turned that lie, shit off. Bro. I feel bad. I guess LeBron really is that nigga, huh? I'm not going to keep telling you LeBron can go to any team and take them to the finals. Hey, hey, hey I ain't going to lie, bro. But, you know, they ain't got no AD either, though. If AD was there, they probably wouldn't be looking this bad. The Lakers was doing all right without AD and just LeBron. Like I said, bro, as long as they got one star, yeah, they, they pretty, they'd be pretty solid. Let me let me goddamn change this shit up. Lakers, Lakers definitely in six, though. You know I want LeBron to win, lose bad. I know you a hater. I hate LeBron. You a hater. I hate LeBron. That nigga LeBron hates your goddamn wave cap too. So y'all even. This shit fire. Nah, that shit head ass. Right. Bro, you about to smoke that black for real? You know I don't smoke. Why you got the black? It look cool. <laughs> so you run, you run the black on the show because it look cool. Bro, you just be needing your props for the show? Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, let's get the fuck out of here, man. This nigga blew on some other shit, man. <laughs> yeah, man, appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. I got some episodes dropping on Patreon, some more shit coming on YouTube. Anything you want to tell these folks what we got out here, Blue? Nah, we're good. Yeah. Blue wants y'all to stop killing each other, man, and we out. Oh, fact, though, man, y'all got to stop that shit, man. Y'all niggas need to got me on. I ain't going to lie, bro. I niggas just got to stop being some bitch-ass niggas, though. That's what it come down to, bro. Stop being a bitch-ass nigga. If you're going to be a bitch-ass nigga, just talk about it. Just talk that shit out. <laughs> Wise words from a nigga wearing a wave cap with a black and mouth in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> and we out, dog. Yeah.